Hello, everybody, and welcome to another edition of JB Zoo Webinars, Webinar Swaps, Rich Willems Webinars, and all the webinars at sea. I don't know why I said that. I just, I just wanted to do that. Welcome to the program. My name is Rich Willems, and we are broadcasting live all the way at the bottom of the great state of Mississippi, uh, right uh, on the Gulf of Mexico. And we are, uh, we are fortunate tonight to bring a, a good friend who's been here once before, whose products uh, you've seen on the Warrior Forum and Warrior Plus, and you've seen them because they work, and they're and and they're such an awesome products. I met Sam a few years ago. He was involved with the Warrior Forum and had his Warrior Forum events in Raleigh, North Carolina, and Orlando. It was an awesome event. I got to meet not only him but his partners, and I just fell in love with his products. They've always been great for me. They always work, and uh, I'm privileged and honored tonight to bring on my friend. He's going to teach us all about how to build the e commerce build business in less than 30 days. Please welcome to the program, Sam Ingham. Sam, how you doing? I am doing great, Rich, and I hope everybody else is doing great. I hope you're doing great, Rich, and everybody out there uh, in different time zones as well. It's a little late in the evening here. We're in North Carolina. It's a little cold, too. I think we, you got some snow the other day, Rich, or did you we, not? We got snow right at the top of Jackson, did Mississippi. You? Yeah, no, it didn't quite make it uh, to, to Biloxi, but... Uh, it, it did come all the way to Jackson. You know, I don't miss the snow, yeah. Sam. How about you? Do you like the snow? Oh, yeah, I don't either. I don't either. Yeah, I hey, well, <laughs> well, we'll get started. We'll get started. Go all ahead. right, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kick back here. Uh, I'm going to work the back end of it and uh, let everybody know that if you have any questions, go ahead and list uh, your questions in the question box. And the ones that I can't answer, we're going to do a little pattern interrupt throughout this webinar. And Sam will stop and explain what it is your question will be. Other than that, we're going to do a, just a really short 15-minute, uh, 60-minute presentation on uh, what this program can do for you and how you can build an e-commerce business that's going to be successful and one you can use for years and years to go. Now, Sam, one of the reasons why I'm so excited is because I, I mentioned this a little bit earlier, that Christmas time is coming up. <laughs> People kind of looked at me and said, well, we just got done with Christmas 60 days ago. But how important is to build an e-commerce business starting like from today in order to get that momentum going in order to take advantage of the Christmas rush? And I think that's what we're all looking for. So, Sam, it's all yours. Thanks, Rich. Uh, I want to thank everybody for coming out tonight and taking the time to you know listen to me for about 45 minutes or so. And uh, like I said before, I know James has told, he told you guys that I've given a freebie out if you listen to the uh, – Hangout we did the other day that for everybody that hangs out here. I've got a nine video series I'm gonna give you plus and we'll give you this whole presentation slide in a PDF so you can go through it later if you want. There's gonna be some cool things here, guys, uh, that you want to take and get your pen and paper out uh, and take note tonight. Okay, so if you don't get time for that, I will be giving. If you stay towards the end, at the end of it, I will give you the, the link to get the slide and the the nine video bonus that I told you I give you, and the, and the videos are how to build an e-commerce site with using WordPress. Okay, so. Uh, Little freebie just for coming up tonight, no, okay, guys. So I guarantee that you guys are going to learn some new things about e-commerce you've never seen, and you can use some of these techniques, and we'll show you outside of e-commerce as well, guys. But I guarantee you've never seen it. If you've never seen this presentation that I've been doing here for the last few months, you you've never seen these techniques before. Guaranteed by anybody else, because it's rare that anybody teaches this. That's a few things that I'm going to show you here, okay. But take you get your pen and paper out, guys, and take notes and uh, follow through, okay. Um, one thing, guys, about e-commerce, I've been doing this since 2003, e-commerce. I got started years ago. It was before I started doing events or started doing info products. And uh, I've been doing it successfully full-time ever since then. But a lot of you guys might know me from doing, you know, selling software packages and selling e-commerce and doing the Warrior Forum events and that kind of stuff, right? But I've been still doing e-commerce all throughout these years and keep building my business and building my business. So uh, first thing, guys, I want to go through a little disclaimer here. Uh, just my documented success, and I'll show you some cool, some stats and authenticity of this training. This does not imply that you will make any money following my footsteps. In fact, most likely, you will not earn anything as most folks don't take action. So, are you an action taker and want to learn an easy follow system that can possibly make you financially free? So, you got to be an action taker, guys. It's not a lot of a whole lot of work in it, like a lot of people think there is. But there is some work involved, and after you get, you know, like for example, when you build. Uh, an e-commerce store, or you list your products on Amazon, or you list your products on eBay, or wherever you, you're selling your products at, it's there. So there's no, you know, keep. Uh, you don't have to ship products or anything else. And I'll explain to you why you, uh, you don't have to ship products. You don't have to inventory products. Just in a second, okay? All right. 
So who is this for tonight, guys? Anyone looking to leave their job and escape the rat race, escape the nine to five job? So maybe if you're working for someone else and you really get tired of getting up in the morning, have to be at the, to your job at nine o'clock, have to leave at eight and drive and drive through traffic and stuff to get to your job at nine, and then say then you commute back and forth to work at five o'clock. You get off, you have to get in your car and you have to commute back home. And uh, you know, it takes your you know a lot of time, and you, you maybe you work with somebody you don't like working for, you don't like the company you're working for, whatever, right? You're there just for the money, and you want to get out of that, right? Anyone who's tried to make money online but can't seem to get it and wants to get rid of the roadblock, just a lot. You hear it all the time. The people keep buying stuff and buying all the next little magic thing that flies up in front of them, and they don't take uh, action. For one thing, they don't take action, or they've tried things and kind of just give up on it and didn't make any money at it, and it's never uh, worked for them, right? Anyone looking for extra income to pay bills. So uh, if you don't want to do this full time, a lot of people do e-commerce guys just to buy, pay for their mortgage every month or to get to save money, enough money to have a nice vacation with their family every year, right? So anyone who could use an extra five to 10000 a month easily. That's just e-commerce. If you can get started quickly, guys, you can easily start making five, ten grand a month really quickly. It doesn't require any special business or marketing skills. It really doesn't, guys. It doesn't require any rocket science stuff, any special algorithm stuff you need to do, any sniper stuff, anything like that. Any, anyone tired of inconsistent income? So maybe if you're selling t-shirts on Teespring, for example, or you're doing, uh, you're building AdSense sites, you're building maybe affiliate, little mini money sites for Amazon as an affiliate, right? That kind of stuff. Link share, share sell, doing that kind of commission junction types of stuff. And your income is just not consistent, right? So I want to do a little number here for you guys, right? How would you guys like to, to make two hundred, three hundred, even a thousand dollars a day? I'm sure, there's a whole lot of you guys would like to just at least make a couple hundred extra a day, three hundred, a thousand a day. So I want to show you guys. Let's do the numbers really quickly. This is really simple stuff, guys. A hundred dollars a day, extra income times three hundred sixty-five dollars, three hundred sixty-five days a year is thirty-six thousand five hundred dollars a year. I mean, wouldn't that make a lot for you guys? If you can make just an extra hundred dollars a day, then you can split that in half. If you just want to pay the mortgage and save it for a vacation, fifty dollars a day with half of that would be eighteen thousand dollars, guys. Eighteen thousand two hundred fifty dollars, right? Uh, that would be a nice vacation for the family. You take your whole family and even your mother-in-law. <laughs> Look at it this way, too, guys. Two hundred dollars a day times three hundred sixty-five days a year, seventy-three thousand dollars a year. Starts adding up, doesn't it? If you can make three hundred dollars extra a day, it's three hundred sixty-five. And if you're doing this full time, guys, one hundred nine thousand dollars a year is a pretty good chunk of change, right? But if you break the numbers down, it is smaller than you think, right? Three hundred dollars a day really isn't a whole lot. But when you start adding it up, it is it adds up, right? But you always want to have goals. So, you know, my goals was you know, I first started doing this, you know, I started doing fifty dollars a day and a hundred, you know, and it kept it kept going up. So when I got to a thousand dollars a day when it really made a whole lot of difference, right? And then you it just it just keeps snowballing from there. But uh, $1,000 a day times 365, guys, is $365,000 a year. Now, wouldn't that just change your life completely? I mean, seriously, you could buy you a new car every year. Almost buy you, you know, these days you could buy a house with that kind of income, right? So you could buy a house within a couple of years so it paid off, especially with e-commerce. Okay, I want to show you guys one of my students. And this is, I want to show you here at the beginning. Uh, one of my students started in October, in the middle of October, and bought my training from me. And we did some live sessions. And he really went crazy with this. He made like sixteen thousand dollars in November alone. And he showed me a stat when when our tra training sessions. He showed me the stats in the background. I said, I'd really like to talk to you about this. And and this is, screenshot was taken in November. Or see, it was no December, right before Christmas time. Okay. And he, by then he'd made forty two thousand five hundred dollars in December alone. And uh, it, he just ramped up. He couldn't believe it because he was so busy at this point. He had to hire a couple of people to help him with the uh, orders and stuff that was coming through to handle, you know, send him to the manufacturers and drop shippers and stuff. I'll explain to you second what a drop shipper is. So he wasn't handling any products, but he ramped his system up really quickly and just made a whole lot of money. Really good stuff. Another one of my students did uh, $9,640 alone in December this last year, Christmas time. And I'm not saying Christmas is the hottest time of year. It is the hottest time of year, but I'm not saying that's what you rely on, guys, because you can build. You want to build your e-commerce business to where you do a lot of different types of seasonal stuff. That way your business can stay busy year-round, right? So he did uh, this a little over $10,472.26 uh, by just right before Christmas time this last year. 
Okay, what is drop shipping, guys? And I know a lot of you probably know what drop shipping is, but I just want to explain this really quickly to the ones out there that doesn't know what, actually what drop shipping is, guys. So what drop shipping is? It's you, you know, you go to uh, either Google and find them uh, a drop shipper, or you go to trade shows, wherever you find these drop shippers from. There's a lot of different ways to do it. Uh, you get the agreement to, with to sell their products online. And what they'll do is they'll send you the images and descriptions and the prices that you'll be paying for and the prices that you need to sell it for, right? So you get to all the images from and the descriptions, which you'll need to train descriptions up a little bit and stuff too to your own, you know, little taste, right? Uh, and it's not that much work. What you do is put them on your website, Amazon or eBay, wherever you prefer to sell stuff, guys. And when you get an order from a customer, you get the money instantly. And so then you pass the order over to your supplier. What you do is you email it over to your supplier. And then they'll send the order over to your customer. And uh, it's done. They'll give you tracking information. You send it to your customer, and the, the transaction is done unless there's something broken with the order or something for happens, which is not too often. Stuff stuff like that never happens because most of these suppliers nowadays are reliable uh, drop shippers, manufacturers. And what it, it is really is this manufacturer or importer guys that agrees to sell so let you sell something online, and uh, you, they ship the stuff to your customers, okay? So they're just a drop shipper at this point. They're actually still a manufacturer, importer, or whatever, right? But they still, we call them drop shippers, so okay? But they'll still mean manufacturer to other places as well. You know, they'll sell to other people as well in bulk and stuff, so like gift stores and stuff like that. So that's what drop shipping is, guys. No inventory, uh, anything like that. You just pay for a bunch of, you know, warehouse space. You're not uh, storing stuff that you bought a whole bunch of that's not selling that you might have for years. It's just hard to, you know, to sell and get rid of. Uh, so there's no really nothing on your shoulders there at that point, right? So the best way to do it is drop shipping. Why choose e-commerce, guys? It's predictable and sustainable. I've been doing this since 2003. I have never had Google slap one of my websites. So Google lo Google loves e-commerce sites. If you don't do anything stupid or crazy, which, you, which why would you? You're just posting products up on your website, right? But Google loves e-commerce sites. Like I said, guys, I've never had any of my websites slapped by Google, ever, ever, ever. Still ranking. Uh, sometimes I have to might fight for ranking because sometimes competition comes in and so forth. But it's predictable and sustainable, believe me, because I still run into my same first website that ever we ever built. Uh, still run to this day the first one I started with in 2003. Once your store is set up, guys, it sells for you 24-7. So you don't have to be there. It's not like having, having. I used to have a computer store, guys. We did computer networks and set up camera systems and VPNs and set up servers for businesses and stuff like that, right? And I did, also did in-house repairs and, and website design and that kind of stuff. This was back in the 90s. I had to pay for billboards. I had to, you know, had a store there. I had employees. I had a whole lot of stuff, right? Yellow page ads and just all kind of stuff like that. And it all added up, right? I just really got tired of doing that. Uh, and it had to be that stores, you know, had some always had to run it. So this way, stores set up, guys, it sells for you 24-7 because it's virtual. It's online. So people will buy off from you. You wake up in the mornings to have them, all these orders come in. It's just great. I love this kind of business. Love it. Uh, you can work from anywhere, guys. Uh, I go on vacation. I take my laptop with me. I get to work from my laptop, right? As long as you have an Internet connection and or a laptop. You have to have a laptop with your Internet connection. Uh, I don't recommend a tablet per se, because I, I have traveled with a tablet and you know, handle orders and emails and all that kind of stuff, right? Uh, but it's a little tougher that with the way the tablet, because you don't you know, have the keyboard, I mean, the, the mouse function and all that kind of stuff to copy and paste and a lot of stuff. It's not as easy as a laptop. But I recommend a laptop, at least a laptop and internet connection somewhere in the world. You can do this, guys. You choose your own hours, full-time or part-time, all right? So if you just want to start this uh, part-time, guys, maybe you're working a job, right? J-O-B, you're working at 9 to 5, and you just want to start this part-time. I would highly recommend you start part-time, guys, and you'll be surprised how fast you can build this up if you dedicate an hour to your time after the kids go to bed, after you eat dinner with the family, everybody goes to bed. You know, dedicate a, uh, an hour a night of your sleep time. You'll get used to it, guys. Instead of sleeping eight or nine hours a night, sleep seven or six. You'll start getting used to it after a couple of weeks and uh, build this business up, you know, part-time until you can do it full-time. Uh, you know, full That's the thing. That's how I started doing it when I had my computer company. You know, I wanted to do this full-time and not have employees and all that kind of stuff. And that's when I finally you know, said in 2003, so I'm all done with the computer business and all that kind of stuff and having employees and so forth. But I want to choose my own hours. I, I had I was like an employee of my own business, and I hated it. I hated it. I hated it because uh, I always had to be there and stuff to make sure everything was running right. Sure, I had a guy, that, one of the guys that worked for me could do a good job while I was gone, but it was still had to be there and had hands on the business a lot, right? You have no boss, guys. You are your own boss. 
And if you don't do any work, guys, you're not going to make any money. You have to build this up a, a bit. You have to do a little bit of work. And once you put the products up, they're there, guys. Unless the company goes out, of, you know, has that product goes out of stock or something like that, you might have to take it out of stock. But the products are always there, guys. Sell them for you. If you find good manufacturers, like I'm going to show you, then it's not, you know, you keep the manufacturers for a long time and keep doing business with them. Just keep selling their stuff. Uh, it's a real good business. Build a real business that can stand the test of time, guys. You want to build a real business. Doing Amazon stuff, uh, not Amazon, but doing like affiliate stuff with Google, AdSense sites, little mini sites. All this kind of stuff that people's doing, doing Amazon affiliate stuff, and, you know, like I said a while ago, ClickBank, uh, 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 share, sell, link, share, commission junction, all that kind of stuff. That's not a real business, guys, because they can slap you anytime, and you are done. Your your whole business is done overnight. You have no money. It will not come back in uh, if you get you know the business shut down like that. E-commerce is a real business. It'll stand test of time, and you can literally, guys, can start making money pretty well right away. If you just get up there and do it, you know, and, and actually you can make money pretty well right away without doing a whole lot of work. To be successful with e-commerce, guys, you need there's three things you'll need, and I'll explain to you in a minute. But the first six things I'm going to tell you is effective, effective niche research to find hot selling products. If you don't have hot selling products, guys, to sell physical products or any product per se, if you do not have the hot selling products, people's not they're not going to sell anything. You're not going to, you're just wasting your time. So you need to have a little bit of research and know how to do that to find the hot selling products, right? Or tools to help you. You need reliable manufacturers, suppliers to ship this product to your customers. They need to be reliable, guys. Reliable suppliers, manufacturers, importers, whatever you want to call them, we call it, and drop shippers, right? It's the same thing. The thing is, you want reliable people, right? Third party marketing, Amazon, eBay, etc. And I'm going to talk about that in a few minutes. Uh, because I really want to stick this in people's head that you need to build your own websites, guys. And let me tell you why. All right. And I got started building my own websites. This is before Amazon was even around. Okay. Uh, eBay was just getting really big at the time. And I started building my websites. And uh, what I realized when eBay came about, and uh, I started doing really good eBay. I got a couple had a couple problems with eBay, and they, you know, I almost got banned from there. And when Amazon came out, and started selling Amazon, guys. I got banned from Amazon twice, and I was making a pretty good chunk of change, but I was making enough on my website, so I'm not, not really worried about it because it's a third-party marketing. Now, let's give you an example, guys. Now, what if you build your business, and there's a lot of people out there teaching this, teaching people say, go do Amazon, do a FBA, but they never talk about having your own websites. Think about that. Now, what if Amazon banned you? I've got unbanned twice, got lucky enough, all right? And what if they banned you? Your money's gone, guys. It's gone. It's, it's zero, nada. Your income is gone if you're just relying on Amazon or eBay or Sears.com. There's a lot of different ones you can sell your stuff on, guys. But my whole point here is never, ever, ever, ever rely on any third-party website or whatever, blog or whatever it is, uh, third-party selling platform like Amazon, eBay, or any kind of business you're in, guys. Never rely on that. You need to have your own websites, whether you're you know any kind of business you're doing, but especially with e-commerce, because you want them to be able to still have be able to make money, guys. Right? There's a lot of products I sell I won't sell on Amazon because I like to have control of just the sales that comes to my websites. So, but you need third-party marketing, guys. You need to still sell on Amazon. That's what I'm trying to get at, and eBay. So, but you need to really rely on your own websites. That's one of the biggest things I like to teach people. But you really want to build it big on Amazon. So you make a lot of money. I make a lot of money in the, during the holidays on Amazon. I still make quite a bit of money throughout the year too. I'm still actually I'm still selling a lot of Christmas stuff this time of year in February. Okay. You want a, a website or websites accept payments, and you want to build more than web website guys. You want to start off with one and start to understand how it works, and you can build websites and put parts on and lickety spit. No time flat, lickety split. And I'm not talking about big websites guys. Either I'm talking about smaller websites. It takes you no time at all to put together, put the products on them, and then you're going to build your next website. And you don't have to build a whole bunch of them. You don't have to build hundreds of them. I have 40 websites right now, maybe 41 or two, whatever, something like that, a little over 40 websites. But I've had as little as a couple dozen. I've had over 100 at one time. But you really don't need a whole lot of them. If you, as long as you have, you know, eventually have, you know, a dozen or two websites, you're going to have four or five out of that, a couple dozen. It's going to make you really good income, okay? And the other ones are going to trickle along. So, but it's really important to guys have your own website, okay? Website and websites, okay? Different niches, too, and I'll explain to you here in a little bit about that. Traffic generation strategies that work over time, guys. You need to know a little bit of basic stuff, a little basic SEO to do on your websites. 
uh, you need to know how to write decent product descriptions, which is really easy, guys. You just need to put your mind to it. Uh, short descriptions, it gives you good SEO uh, meet there to get some traffic in. That's one of the things I like to do, and there's a couple other ways of doing it. And uh, software that helps you along the way, guys. All we always need a little piece of the software. I use QuickBooks for things. I use different research software, little pieces of software. You don't need, a lot of times you don't need no massive stuff, guys. But you always need a little piece of software to help you along the way, right? Makes things easier and quicker, right? Okay, we're going to cover three. The three keys of building successful e-commerce business, guys, and this is here, you need to start uh, getting your pen and paper out here, so I'm going to share some cool stuff with you. Key number one, find hot niche products, guys. Talked about it a minute ago. Two things, uh, three things we're going to talk about, and I'll show you here in a minute, but one is find hot niche products, guys. Find and relate reliable manufacturers to the hottest to the things you have to do before you do anything. You have to find the product, and then you have to find the manufacturers to fulfill that need to your customer. Because you know you have to have the product to ship to your customer. If there's a niche that uh, there's no product, then there's not a niche, right? I'll give you guys an example here. Look at this. How many reviews? And this is one thing I like to look at a lot is when I'm doing a research, especially on a category product. I like to see how many reviews got because, to be honest with you, if this the one in the middle here is 1,430, just go go pet club cat tree, 1,434 reviews. They probably sold. 15, 20,000 of these because not a lot of people leave reviews. It's the same on Amazon and the same on eBay. Maybe one out of 10 people, maybe one out of 20, 15 to 20 might just leave a review of the products you sell. So imagine how many of these sold. Uh, see, look at these, this little table. And who would think Express, Espresso Living Set table for Eno, 263 reviews. It's not too bad, guys. It sold a few thousand of these at least. Okay. Uh, there's another. Pet uh, cat tree, 577. So that's the kind of things you want to really look for. We'll go and talk about that more in just a minute. Find how niche, niche products, guys. Make sure you have a target market that has repeat customers. The best customers want to already know you and trust you. You want to have, make sure your target market has repeat customers, guys. So we'll explain that to you in a minute. A little bit more. Is it seasonal niche product like Christmas ornaments, Halloween costumes? Maybe you're selling gardening stuff, that kind of stuff, guys. Uh, I sell cycling stuff, gardening stuff, and I'll give you some examples here in a minute. You can some good niches you guys can think about that way you get your, your juices flowing, your middle juices flowing, right? Competition is good, guys. It shows that there's a market, but know your comp competitors and research them beforehand. Uh, if there's no competition, guys, there is no market, so competition is good, right? Shows there's a market because if there's no competition, it's not a market. There's no, no use in trying to sell something. You can't really create a, a a niche, you can't create a sub niche, but it's hard to really create a niche. But you can create a sub niche of another niche. Uh, but you want to have competition, guys. But and also, you always know one of those competitors and research beforehand. It's really easy to do, guys. Google's out there. It's amazing how how big Google is now and how uh, easy you can research stuff for other people. Okay, avoid products that everyone in the world is trying to sell. Don't try to sell commodities, guys. Commodities: toilet paper, toothpaste, toilet, uh, toothbrushes. Uh, I don't know, cheap shot, cheap shot glasses, cheap reading glasses, anything commodities, guys, uh, don't sell. You, you can't compete with Walmart as well, guys, so don't sell what they, they – always sell what they don't. Anything that you can buy, like hats and T-shirts uh, for the, your, your local college or, or, you know, for your college team, your NFL team, most of the time you can buy that stuff at Walmart, some of the smaller stores, right? But maybe there's a particular jersey or something that you just can't buy anywhere, right? You'd have to go to the mall to get or something like that. So you want to, you know, concentrate on that kind of stuff. But don't uh, sell anything at Walmart. That kind of stuff you won't sell at all. No, concentrate on more expensive and lightweight products, guys. Don't limit your profits. Uh, more expensive and lightweight, guys, because when you get to lightweight, your freight is going to be cheaper. So when a manufacturer ships out a product for you, they're either going to use your UPS or FedEx account, or they're going to use theirs and charge you for it, right? But UPS FedEx is still pretty expensive these days, so. I like to concentrate on more expensive products, anywhere from $75 to $100 and on up, and lighter weight products. That way I can make more profits, right, for sale. Don't give up, guys. Take advantage of the resources that you have on the Internet. Think about it. I started in 2003, and there was no info products really teaching you about selling online. There's a couple little bitty PDFs and stuff that people had out there. They've sold for a lot of money. It wasn't worth much of anything. Um, you know, YouTube, I don't even think it was around at the time, 2003, I'm not sure, but if it was, it wasn't that big. But what I'm saying, guys, you have a lot more resources 
tools or software, all kinds of stuff out there now that you've got that I didn't have back then because I had to learn all this stuff on my own. I didn't have all the people teaching me. I didn't have info products. Google wasn't that big and so on and so forth. So you guys should not never, ever give up because you guys have a lot more resources and advantage than what I had when I started in 2003, right? Hot niches for you guys. Get your pen and paper out. College, collegiate, and NFL, all right? Sports fanatics. They are sports fanatics. So if you went to, you were the Florida Gators, you went to the, you went to the Florida Gators University, or whatever in Florida, and you moved to North Carolina, would you root for NC State, North Carolina State? Well, no, because you went to Florida, right? So you'd always be an alumni, and your family would always probably be buying you gifts at Christmas time and your birthday and stuff for your team because you're an alumni, right? You never, never lose loyalty to that team, and there's always rivalries in the family and stuff, and they're really big fanatics, right? NFL, the same thing. Now, NFL, on the other hand, you can choose teams because there's no loyalties there. If you lived in Cincinnati and you moved to uh, another state, you can always root for an NFL team because you really go, you didn't go to school or anything. There's no school for it. It's just an NFL team, right? So there's really no loyalty. The collegiate is a really big one. I'll give you guys a couple of other quickies here. And you guys, this can go on and on and on. I just want to give you guys let your juices flow here just a little bit and think about things, right? Right? Cycling. One big one, I've been cycling stuff. That's a seasonal thing, too. Guys, I sell a lot of stuff in the spring and summer. When it starts warming up, a lot of cyclists like to buy their jerseys, their new hats, their socks, their shoes, their carbon fiber frames for their bike, new different things, right? They always like to add little gadgets and stuff like that. So cycling's a big niche. Golfing, right? Think about it. Golfers love their stuff, guys. All the divot tools and their putter covers, and they always like the next. I'm not a golfer, so I don't. I do sell golfing stuff, but... Uh, I'm not into golfing, but there's a lot of stuff you can sell, guys. Uh, scuba diving. I'm a scuba diver, so I've spent thousands and thousands of dollars on gear and stuff and all kinds of different computers, scuba diving computers and different kinds of things and fins and gloves and masks, and I've got all kinds of stuff, guys. You know, BCs, octopuses, and all that kind of stuff. So stick stuff get really expensive, and they're fanatics, right? Baby and infant products. So you got the, the uh, basket that the... Uh, Bathing it, whatever it was a while ago for the babies. There's a pet thing I showed you guys a minute ago. Look, survivalists is big guys. Pets, pet people fanatic over their pets. Healthcare, bird watchers, and we'll talk about bird watchers in just a few minutes, guys. We'll show you cool, some cool examples. Uh, scrapbooking guys is big. Hunting, there's actually a scrapbooking thing that goes on in Raleigh every year. It's like one of the biggest scrapbooking events. I actually popped in there one day. Like Rich said, I did a few warrior form events up in Raleigh at the hotel that I was. So then a couple of weeks before we did our event, uh, the hotel had told me that the, the, the next biggest one to us was a scrapbooking event. So they just so had to have been there one week, and I was checking the hotel out and make sure there's, you know, how everything was before we did our event. And there's all these there's all these different rooms for all these people to scrapbooking. Pretty big thing. Uh, hunting guys, hunters, hunters love their hunting gear and stuff, their bows and arrows and all their dress and stuff, the camo, you know, all that kind of stuff. Duck hunters like duck calls and you know, all kinds of stuff, guys. Martial artists, like your stuff. MMA, think about MMA, guys. UFC, that kind of stuff. Holiday niches, guys. Holiday niches, think about it. Christmas, Halloween, uh, Father's and Mother's Day, Easter, St. Patrick's Day, et cetera, et cetera. Guys, if you go to Google, guys and girls, sorry. Um, if you go to Google, you can type in uh, daily holidays. It's just about a holiday for any every day of the year. A lot of small, small holidays, but you just don't think about it. There's a lot of holidays, right? Uh, hobby and novelty products, guys. How about man cave kind of stuff, right? That's novelty stuff, right? The big rug he put this man cave. The big fancy chairs for his, the reclining chairs. It's got his team logos on it, right? Uh, the mascot statue he's got there because it's just got his mascot team mascot in there. All the flags he's got hanging up his man cave, right? Any hobbyist stuff, guys? Anybody like to fly? Like, give you guys some examples. They like to do their little uh, RC planes, right? People like their little RC planes or their little RC cars, that kind of stuff, right? Uh, there's a lot of different, you know, hobby. I know the hobby was a scooby I'd call it a hobby. It's just more or less a hobby, right? Uh, uh, bird washers is a hobby. But any hobbyist guys like to spend money, okay? So it's a good, good thing to think about. So I'll my time on that so you guys can take your notes. But like I said, stick here at the end. I'll give you guys the link to uh, this whole slide, okay? Give you guys an example of... Uh, which kind of stuff has been selling. I told you guys a little bit about uh, talking about college. I told you, look here, guys, Christmas tree garden, three of them, right? So I've been selling a lot of NASCAR types of stuff, too. 
uh, sell a whole lot of them too, but they're not they're a little cheaper. But I got a company just whips them right out, and I make a good profit on every one of them. There's another college uh, one, baseball Christmas ornament guys. Who would think it's just was it was it a baseball? It's all it was a little baseball Christmas point seven of them at one time. Crazy, right? This is November of 2014. I'll give you guys an example of a product that I picked up in November 10th, 2014. I just I had uploaded the product. And uh, it, this is the date that Amazon, I put it on Amazon, 11-10-2014, and within a couple of days I'd sold three of them, I'll show you here. And it was on the 10th that I loaded it, right here, and the 13th I sold one, two, and on the 14th I sold three. And this is going to start within three days, guys, start selling it that quick. And it, what it was, was an African-American, 16 African-American tree topper with feathers. Within about three weeks I sold them all out for that company. And it which went crazy. Uh, I'm not sure if they're going to get any more in this year, but I've been doing a couple of research on on uh, getting a replacement for it. Right. Number two, guys. Key number two: find reliable manufacturers. Investigate and research competition. That's really a good way of doing it, guys. Uh, give you an example. See a product you, think, you find that's selling really good. A lot of people put in the description who the manufacturer is, guys. Especially on Amazon, eBay to do it too, though. A lot of times they put it either in the whole title of the listing of the product or in somewhere in the content of the, or the description of the listing. And then all you have to do is go simply just go to Google and type in uh, GoPro Cat or whatever, GoPro Cat Bed or whatever, and you can find the manufacturer just like, looks like that, right? So a lot of them, if you just investigate and research competition, you find it. Guys, I've actually even called my competition and, and on a rare occasion got to manufacturer's name that I wanted. <laughs> it's no lie. Sometimes you'll just give it right out to you. Research, research trade shows and merchandise market directories easily find reliable manufacturers, guys. Uh, I started going to doing drop shipping by going to trade shows in Atlanta and Florida and different places to find manu, you know, find drop shippers, manufacturers. And this is before, like I said, 2003, nobody really knew what drop shipping was. I had to you know, explain to the different manufacturers of trade shows what it was. And then they say, "Wow, that's really cool. Yeah, we can do that for you. We can just ship it to your customers." And it, you know, I didn't say I, st I never started, you know, drop shipping, but I had to educate a lot of people back then. So I went to a lot of trade shows, but back then they didn't have these directories online, guys. They had the trade show listings, but you couldn't find the directories of all the manufacturers were there. So, in other words, you had to go to the trade show, okay, to see these people. But nowadays they have directories, guys, and most of the time you don't even have to to uh, be a member or anything to find a directory of all the people listed at these trade shows in these uh, merchandise markets. And they're all over the country here, they're all over the world actually, but there's just certain ways you need to find out, you know how to go about searching for the directories and then narrow it down to the niche product you're looking for. It's really easy guys, then you can find manufacturers quickly after you find a product you're looking for. Pay attention to details guys when investigating, investigating a potential manufacturer. It's very, very important to know who you're dealing with beforehand after you find a hot, a hot niche product when you start investigating manufacturers. You want to know how fast they rely back to you on uh, emails or you know if you left a, a message, a, 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 a voicemail or something like that. You always want to know and see if they can get back with you in a fair amount of time. You want to know that you're dealing with a decent manufacturer uh, before you start doing any business with them, right? So always keep note and details, guys. Know what you're doing with them. Before you start working with them, I'm not saying there's, there's a ton of them out there uh, that are or bad people to work with because 99.9% .9 of them out there are good people to work with. Just sometimes the people who might work internally is not doing a good job at it. Sometimes you run into that. Maybe they they got good product and stuff, but maybe their internal just doesn't work really well. The people, some of the people that's working there, uh, and you can usually spot that very very quickly, guys. Okay? Don't use middlemen. Never pay a monthly fee, guys. Have you guys ever heard of Doba? D O B A or worldwide brands, WWB, they call it worldwide brands. What they do is they go to these trade shows and they get all the agreements to sell products for these same people that you would find on Google or going to trade show or doing the directory searches that I do. And they get the agreement to do that, but what you do, you have to go through them to get the, uh, the product sent up back and forth. So it's just a, you're going through a middleman, it's not really good. You never want to pay a monthly fee to anyone to be able to drop ship because manufacturers don't do that to you. They never charge you monthly fees. So never, ever, ever pay a monthly fee to anyone to be able to sell their products or even do a minimum order or anything like that. Actually have to inventory products. Never, never, never. Okay? It's not what drop shipping is. You always want to go direct, work directly with the manufacturer. So never work with anybody that charges you a monthly fee or you know a service online that says they can find a manufacturer for you because you can do it yourself, guys. You don't need to find have somebody do it for you. Okay? Find manufacturers who do not sell to the general public. Here's what I mean. 
if you find a manufacturer, you Google them, you go to their website, you know, they have a mission statement about, about their products and their company, maybe how long they've been in business, and they have a contact us and that kind of stuff on their website. But if they're selling their own products there on their website, sell to the general public, what I mean, then you don't want to sell their stuff either because you're competing against them. I guarantee you're selling on Amazon there where they can sell. Okay, so you're competing against them. So you see a manufacturer's website when you find them and get your, you know, you see the contact information. If they have a store there to try to actually sell to the general public. Now, there's nothing wrong with having your products listed on your website, but just don't have buy buttons where people can buy that stuff to the general public and buy from them. Okay, never, never, never. Okay, very important. Okay, give me guys a cool little tip here. We're talking about finding drop shippers, right? I'm going to put these out here for you guys. And I'll talk. Well, uh, we'll go back and forth here in a second. You see how I got it in quote site colon dot com, right? Quote bracket whatever you guys call it. Quote uh, dropship agreement slash slash slash. Okay, what I'm looking for, I'm looking for a site a dot com site. And you see the dot co dot uk. So for an example, if you was living in the uk, this is how you would do it. Okay, you look for a dropship agreement. Okay, and I'm looking for toys. So if I was looking for pet something or dog collars, I'd put dog collars in here, right? Are you guys getting that? I'll show you what it looks like here in a second. Uh, you can do it this way too, guys. Put the bracket dog right here, okay? This, this different. So I'm just using two different examples here of the brackets and two of the quotes up here, okay? So I'm looking for a dropship agreement. I'm looking for dot coms. I'm here in the U.S. or Canada or whatever, right? Look for dropship agreement. I'm putting the keyword in here that I'm looking for, right? Like I said, it could be dog collars. It could be cycling jerseys. It could be car horns. It could be doorbells. It could be whatever, right? If you use the UK, you use this algorithm, rhythm, okay? This is what it looked like, guys. So I did site.com for pet pets products and look for dropship agreement. And you can put the dropship agreement for the pets or either, whatever, all right? Look right here, guys. 1,080,000 just for pets and dropship agreement. First, one, two, three, four, five, right there. So that's easy to do that, guys. That's how really easy that is to do. So I'll give it here back to you guys here for a second. Uh, be sure. We're going to do Q&A here, guys, in a few minutes. We're, all, we're getting pretty close to done to the presentation. I want to do Q&A. I know you guys, a lot of you guys have questions and stuff, and I'm sure Rich is the background answer what he can here, but uh, it's a lot of questions he, he'll have me answer for you guys. So I want to make sure you guys stick around here to get to answer the questions, to, to ask the questions so I can answer for you, okay? Uh, but that's how easy it is, guys, to do it in particular niches. You just replace the pets to whatever you're looking for, right? And if you're in... Uh, uh, China to use the dot CA, I think it is, right? With China, most people don't need a dropship agreement. Most of them are manufacturers anyways. <laughs> uh, but yeah, dot co dot, dot co dot UK, that kind of way, right? Just replace a couple things here. Guys, number, key number three is good customer service. Have a 1-800 number and a customer contact form on your websites. Even if you can stick it on in an image and stuff too, like on an Amazon listing or something, guys, it's great. I've had a lot of people call me from Amazon and want just to know about our products and stuff before they buy. Okay, one eight hundred number, a great place to get one, guys. If you people say, oh, they're so expensive, but not expensive. I pay like sixteen ninety nine or something like that a month for mine from eVoice.com. It's not my website, so I don't get any money out of it. Just highly recommend them. Um, what I do, guys, that one eight hundred number is for to my home number, so nobody even knows it's a home number. It's my office number, right? Uh, if, to give you an example, if I go out of town, I go out there, I go to a warehouse or something, so I have a warehouse about 20 miles from here that I store some stuff that I import. And uh, I can have it forwarded to myself. I just log into evoice.com, log into my account real quick, and forward over to my cell phone for to it. So all by one eight hundred number, or phone call will come to my cell phone. It's that easy, that quick, guys. It's really cool and it's cheap. So you, everybody needs a one eight hundred number, guys. You should. And it's, like I said, it's cheap. You don't have to have it get started. Not saying you do, but uh, you know when you start your business and stuff, uh, you know under 20 bucks, it's really just a small investment for your business, especially for a 1-800 number. Good one. Okay. Be upfront and honest with your customers. Okay. Always, always, always contact your customer immediately if there's an item is on back order or if there's an issue with the order, and that's why part of being upfront and honest with your customers, guys. I'll give me an example. Um, sometimes I get an order comes in. And like today, I had a, I had three orders for one particular product. I contacted the manufacturer, and I said, you know, I know this was out of stock a couple of weeks ago. When do you expect it in stock? And they moved back and said, hey, we got two containers coming in. Should be the next couple of weeks. The containers will be all in, and they have it all inventoried in, right? Uh, we'll have a couple of weeks. So what I do is I contact my customers, and usually that's 75 percent, 80 people, 75 to 80 percent of the people, unless it's around Christmas time. 
about 75 or 80 percent of the people are willing to put it on back order and wait on it uh, until it comes in stock. So it's always good to contact your customer immediately, guys, and just tell them, be honest, which is going to be two or three weeks, right? It's going to be four weeks or whatever. And uh, do you want me to just, you know, do you want me to refund your money, or do you just want us to hold on back order for you and ship it when it comes out back, back in stock? And most of them will say, yeah, just fine. You know, unless it's like I said, it's a rush for a birthday present or Christmas time, they're really in a big rush, they have to have it. Then some people's not willing to wait. But uh, if you're up and uh, front and off with them guys, you'd be surprised uh, how many people will. This is an opportunity for you guys to shine and re re repeat business and have customers who will tell their friends, guys, which is free advertising. I get this a lot. I get this a whole lot that people are so happy with me, the orders that they had done with me and be so honest, right? Oh, I can't believe you actually called us. You know, I get this all the time. I can't believe you actually called us and said, you know, tell me that my order, a lot of people, you know, a lot of companies I bought stuff from online wouldn't even tell you anything. You know, let alone give you a call, right? And it doesn't take a second to call. With it, it's not hard. That people say, "I don't like talking to other people on the phone." Well, guys, it's not. Most of the people who I deal do business with, to sell to, is all over the country. I never, they don't know. You know what you look like. Why should you feel uh, bad about getting on the phone for a few minutes to make a sale, right? Have a repeat customer that's happy, and then we don't tell their friends and all their, you know, work friends, work people they work with, and all kinds of stuff, guys. Business associates, and one of the biggest things, guys, is leave positive reviews. Ebay and Amazon, guys, is real, real important to get positive reviews. If you don't, then you know people it's hard to get people to buy from you. Even when you get started, you got to, there's certain ways you can get reviews, and I explain to that in my my course, to how to get positive reviews and get them quickly, guys, without a whole lot, a whole lot of hassle. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna give you guys a cool, cool little technique here. You guys are gonna love. Okay. Uh, always buy real, relevant keyword-rich domain names. I'm gonna show you here in just a minute. Choosing a good domain name, guys. A lot of people think. Well, I don't know what kind of domain name to buy. Well, you don't want to buy Bob, Bob's Bob's Chainsaw Sales, right? It's not going to work. Johnny Walker's Chainsaw Sales dot com. Well, that's not how you're going to sell chainsaws online. Uh, or you know, uh, Blake's Blake's Dog Collars, Blake's Arkansas Dog Collars dot com doesn't work, guys. You're not going to get sales from it. Very, very important, guys, to stay away from trademark names. Always, always, always stay away from trademark names. Uh, I've been guilty of this. I've had cease and desist letters. Uh, I did this a long time ago. I bought a lot of NCAA college gear, NCAA cycling jerseys, all kinds of stuff like that. And I got a couple of phone calls from them, and, and, and a couple other niches. I did the same thing, and I didn't realize what I was doing. I didn't, didn't even know any better until uh, I learned from the letters and phone calls from a couple of associations. But never buy trademark domain names uh, with the trademark name in it, guys. Okay? Never, never. And you guys are not talking for them out. Three to four word domain names, guys. Never. Don't go over, over that. It's hard to buy two letter domain names these days because most of them's taken up. I did find a really good one the other day. Uh, just did a search, guys. If you do really quick searches, and I'm going to show you here in a second examples how to do this. It's really cool. No hyphens, numbers, or abbreviations in your domain name, guys. Right? No numbers, abbreviations, hyphens, dashes, whatever. Okay. Lastly, dot com's the best. Never, I've never bought dot nets, dot org, dot co, dot whatever. I never buy buy anything but dot coms, guys. Get a drink of water. Take a second here to breathe here. But like I said, guys, it's always very important to buy keyword risk domain names. You can get easy traffic without doing anything crazy, any wicked, crazy SEO stuff or any link wheels or anything like that, right? Now, buying traffic, if you do it the right way and by revert, re relevant keyword risk domain names, there's three to four word domain names, no hyphens, abbreviations, and dot coms. Most of the time, you can outrank some of the big guys pretty easily, guys, with your own websites, okay? We're not talking about Amazon or anything here. We're talking about your own websites. What I talked about before, I talked about having your own websites as your backbone for your real business, because this is a real business, okay? Amazon's not a real business, guys. Sure, you can make a whole lot of money as long as they don't get pissed off and slap you. Because listen, Amazon's really picky. They have a lot of lot of rules and stuff, and you have to stay within them guidelines. Um, and if you don't, they'll ban you. Like I said, I've been banned twice, and it's still always kind of tiptoeing with them because you never know, right? Uh, that's why you never re rely on Amazon alone. You really need to rely on your own websites firstly, okay? Okay, give me guys an example. This, this is really cool stuff, guys. Uh, you see up here, I searched for birding monocters. See right here, I went to Google, I typed in birding monocters. And what do you see first? The first thing I see here, guys, first thing I see is there is competition, right? 
people's running ads over here, right hand side. Now if you come over here and you look and there's nothing here, it's blank and white, <laughs> there's not much competition, right? People's buying for keyword terms here, okay? Next thing I see here is shopping for birdie binoculars on Google. Shopping right on top, guys. Good stuff. But what I see next is crazy. www.birding-binoculars. What I say? Net? <laughs> what I say? Not to buy. Net. Dot net. This guy is ranked. His website, Birding Binoculars buy, Buying Guide, birding-binoculars.net. So let's go here real quick. Okay, I'll pull his website up real quick. And if you look, it's .net, and it's not much of a website, right, guys? It's got a couple things here, a couple pages here, and stuff like that on it. But the thing is, he's beating out birdiebinoculars.com. And the problem with their stuff is Birdie Binoculars Q&A, right? He's running a couple little Philly things here and there and stuff on it, but he doesn't have it optimized. And why I know that? Because I right-click over here to page view page source. And I see he did a really, really, really crappy job. One of the basic no-nos of all time is not to put, you need to have some keywords sprinkling here, guys. You need to know exactly what you're doing, which is simple. This is simple stuff you can never think of. Uh, I'm looking for his meta, meta stuff here, but he has none in here. Do, 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 do. Oh, let's look in here with script. But anyways, he has nothing in here, guys, to get uh, ranked. He has no information in here. And that's why .com's not ranking which is one of the cardinal sins. Okay, I'll show you something really cool here, guys. So you see what I did Birdie Binoculars. Now, to get a circle, just circle up here. I met a bunch of you wondering why I had this circle. But I did Birdie Binoculars. I went to google.com, typed in Birdie Binoculars, and this is my query, right, guys? Birdie plus binoculars. I'll show you guys something really cool. You guys are gonna love this. It's one of those techniques that a lot of people, that people don't teach, right, guys? What you need to do is put and start equals 990. I'll put this notepad right here. Same thing. And start equals 990. So what I did, I would do is copy, okay? And I put it behind binoculars. See right here where I did this? I'm gonna go back here, guys, just so you can see this, okay? I don't want you to get all uh, confused here, okay? All right? I typed in burger, burger, burger binoculars. That was what I was looking for, the, the, the niche product. And it comes up with birdie plus binoculars dot right here, right here, birdie plus binoculars. Okay, you see that? Now, behind binoculars, I put and start equals 990. And what you do at that, that point right there, guys, you just hit enter or what you do is hit enter or just hit the search over here, guys, right? Right behind the binoculars, whatever search at the end of that, I just put the and start equals 990. And, then I, and what happens, it takes you to the last page of that search query. Now, a lot of times it'd be 100 pages in here, guys. Like you see, for example, you ever see the 1 through 9, 9 through 20, whatever, and you, you can keep going through these pages. What this does, guys, the and equals, and start equals 990 takes you to the last results. And if you went to this last results, guys, you always see this here in any type of search result, not just birdie binoculars, whatever you're searching for, you'll see this number here. In order to show you the most relevant results, we have omitted, omitted some entries very similar to the 317 already displayed. This is 317 I'm going by. That's a number I always look for, guys. I care less about all this verbiage here. I'm looking for that a number that's going to be within here. It could be 250, it could be 360, it could be 4 something, it could be 100 something, right? But I'm looking for 317, okay? That's what the number that gives me when I did that search. And here's a scale go by, guys. All right, let me go ahead and pull this up for you too real quick. I'll pull you the whole scale here what it all says here, what I have down here. This is what I, I come up with years ago, guys, and here's what it is. We had a 317, which is intermediate. I always look in something in, in, in right in here and maybe the low 300s, right? That way I can rank my website very easily, guys, by buying keyword, a good keyword for its domain name, and I'll show you here in a second how to do that with party binoculars. So I'm just barely over 300, which is fairly easy. If this number of SEO works, still, still, still relatively easy. Uh, it might take a few backlinks, but I doubt it. I usually don't, don't do any uh, backlinks, guys, but on-page SEO is mandatory. That's the easiest way to get ranked. My, I don't do any fancy smancy stuff on my website. I never have, never never will. I don't do any backlinking. I don't do any social media, a whole bunch of social media stuff. Uh, a few of my niches, I have a, a fan pages and stuff on uh, Facebook, but I don't do a whole lot, and I do uh, have some videos every once in a while. If I really, really want to get ranked quickly, then I'll do have Fiverr on Fiverr, have a couple videos made for five or ten bucks, 
uh, like three or four videos for a particular keyword and get ranked really quickly and start get traffic. But what I'm getting at here, guys, this number, that number I was looking at, 317. So this is a scale I go by, personally go by. And with this, if it's in with these things I'd consider, if it's intermediate, then I know I can pretty handle it. But if it's anywhere from 500 above, I stay away. Okay? But this is what it looks like here, guys. So we're at 317. I'd probably go after Bernie Binocters because I already showed you the dot .com. He's not even SEO friendly on that side at all. He's not ranked at the first page. He's got uh, .net guy slash Bernie slash Binocters dash Binocters dot .net ranked out ranked him. Okay. Oops. All right, guys. Buy relevant domain names. All right. At the end of the at the end of the rear end of the domain name used. I'll explain to you why here, what this means here in a second, okay? At the rear of the domain name, use store, online, depot, center, world, or central, or, or, or. Not all of them, either one. Now, I'll explain to you here just in a second what this means. By relevant domain names, guys, and if it's taken at the rear of the domain name, you can use store, online, depot, center, world, or central, okay? If it's taken and you don't want to use one at the end, at the front of the domain name, guys, you can use DIY, my, or your. Okay? And you guys are probably confused. Like, what the hell are you talking about, Sam? Okay, if the domain name is taken, you can put store at the end of it, .com, online.com, depot.com, center.com, world, or central. And there's a bunch of other ones you can use as well. This is the main ones. My two favorite are store and online. I use that a lot. At the beginning, if you don't want to use something at the end of it, and it's taken, DIY, my, or your. And I'll give you guys an example, okay? I looked for birdiebinoculars.com. That's how I found it was taken. It's not available, right? So birdiebinoculars.com. So I want to get ranked for this guy quickly. God, I'd love to have a domain name, but I'm sure this guy wants a lot of money for it, right? You don't want to take the time to try to get you know, hold of him, yada, yada, and spend a bunch of money for it. But guess what? Birdiebinocularscenter.com is available. Look here, birdiebinocularsdepot.com available. Guys, it goes on and on and on and on. A lot of uh, words that you're looking for, sure, they might be not be take. They're already taken. But if you put online behind it or store behind it, because you have your store, you're doing a store, right? So, birdiebinocularsstore.com. I didn't even search that one. It could be taken by now because I've done this presentation a couple of times, but. Uh, you guys see what I'm talking about, right? Because it really, uh, most of the time, people don't think about this. And it really, you get ranked really quickly by doing this, guys, by using them particular terms I just showed you, right? Store, online, depot, center, world, central. At the beginning of it, you could, could do uh, your birdie binoculars .com, your birdie, my birdie binoculars com, DIY birdie binoculars com. okay? So you can get ranked pretty easily that way. All right, guys, who wants to watch over my shoulder and see exactly step by step how I've been doing this forever and ever and ever, right? Not forever, but for, for quite a few years now, for 13, going 13 plus years now. I want to give you guys real value and save you 3000 bucks, and, and I'm just literally, literally saving 3, 000, saving you guys 3000 bucks. And when I show you the prices, you guys are going to fall backwards out of your chairs. Every time I do one of these presentations, guys, people absolutely fall back in their chairs. I can't believe you're selling this so cheap, and you'll see here in just a minute. You guys remember his amazing selling machine? I'm not trying to knock them or anything like that. I actually bought their stuff for three thousand uh, uh, bucks, 2013, 14, beginning of 2014. Uh, it was overpriced, guys. Last time he released it, it sold for over three thousand. It's thirty-four hundred bucks change. They only cover Amazon and white label products, guys. I told you before. This is very, very, very important not to just rely on Amazon. Never, ever, ever limit your profit selling your your selling market, guys. Losing you tons of money. Uh, you want to have your own website selling. Even if you're selling the same product on your own websites, you want to sell on Amazon and eBay as well. But you want to rely on your own websites. And also, guys, not just one website. So if you have a niche product you sell a lot of, guys, you're doing really good, I like to about build two or three websites selling the same exact thing. Let me give you an example. Okay? I just bought a domain name last week, and you can look it up. I just now started building MP3 doorbells. Who would have thought that? Somebody had an MP3 doorbell.com already taken. I bought doorbells with an S. <laughs> Grab that baby. At the same time, because I had a guy, I got a guy email and call me about a doorbell he has. It's NFL and college and all this stuff. This fight song and all that crap. I went, I went, did a little research real quick and seen that fight song doorbells 
uh, was available really quickly, so I grabbed five song doorbells. And when I was looking at that, I looked at another, I did another little algorithm test, like to, uh, it's in my training, uh, really quickly with Google, and I found that MP3 doorbells was a hot uh, keyword search term. And when I did that, I found that the doorbells was available, so I snagged it up. Okay, right. Uh, so I like to buy them types of keyword domain names, and I can start getting traffic pretty easily with them, right? It's a couple of them. I just give you guys, it's just that quick, guys. That you can find these things, you have to put your mind to it, right? Uh, but Amazon, AM, they cover AM, uh, AMS can only cover the Amazon white label guys, uh, FBA, and you don't want to just limit that, right? My product has way more training than guys, and I have some priority software no one else has access to, and I'll show you just in a second what it is. And all you will have and give an advantage to over the competition guys. This software is freaking amazing and crazy. It's like having a crystal ball. Uh, I sim simply don't want hard people like yourselves guys missing out on this wonderful opportunity. I want to save you guys a ton of cash and headaches along the way. I don't want you guys buying something for 3000 bucks that you can't actually do much with other than relying on the Amazon, right? It's, it's, it's a crazy people teaching that types of techniques that your business should be gone overnight. Uh, I'm not trying to knock them. I actually know Jason and them uh, and Matt, but I just don't think that they should be just teaching that type of technique to rely on that, guys, because like I said, I've been banned by Amazon twice. I had my account shut off. And there's ways of getting your account uh, open back up too, guys, but it's, it's pretty tough. Uh, and this kid doesn't happen just to everybody at any time. Ecom domination, guys, is a complete e-commerce training course to get you selling products on light, at lightning speed, selling on light, lightning speed. You can literally start making money within seven days easily, probably less than that if you really put your mind to it quickly. Okay? Go with the training for a day or two and just start listing stuff. And you don't. It depends on how you guys are uh, structured and how you got started. If you've ever sold online before, then I have a a technical strategy and a place, a way you need to go through the training sessions that helps you go through and uh, get selling really quickly. And if you've already sold on eBay, you don't need to be selling on eBay at first and you start building websites. If you have never sold online, guys, you need to start on eBay really quick, get your feet wet. Uh, there's different ways you need to take action, okay? Takes action with the easy follow step with exclusive software. I'm going to show you get that snapshot of software here in a second, guys. Uh, I want to help you guys build a six-figure e-commerce business where you can generate steady income for years and years. And six figures, guys, would change a lot of your guys' life. And I'm not talking about low six figures. I'm like middle six figures is perfect, guys. If you can make $500,000 plus a year, you're doing really good, right? Uh, I want to show you guys. Uh, let me show you guys what you get in the training real quick, okay? Here's a snapshot of what it looks like when you go into the training area. And I haven't given you guys a price yet. I'm going to you in a minute, but you're going to fall over backwards. When you log in, guys, and you go to the training, there's a video here you need to watch. You, you need to watch this, and it's only like three or four minutes long, but I explain to you how to go through the modules, because there's a lot of training in here, guys. So let me show you. Uh, module one's introduction to e-commerce. really goes into detail about how to start your business, guys. Whether if you already have a business started uh, with your business license, uh, then you can skip through a, a bit of that right here. There's a, a few videos you need to watch, but most of them you can go through. If you already don't have a business started, guys, there's a ton of resources and information on how to get your business started. Okay. Number two module is a must. Research for hot niches and market ideas. You need to watch this whole module and all the videos in it. Number three, you need to find real wholesalers and manufacturing distributors. Very important module, guys. And then here's where you get started, guys. There's three modules you never you, you want to figure out which one you want to take. You don't want to get mixed up in all these and get confused. Because there, there's a lot of information on how to build your store, which is very, very important, guys. And this is like a, a to Z for building your website, guys. There's nothing left out. And all the modules I have, the bottom of the modules always has the resources and links to anything that I talk about throughout the videos in that module. Uh, it's all laid out, guys, so easily for you. Uh, module 7 is creating content for your websites, descriptions, really good SEO content. Uh, we have traffic niche domination, a lot of traffic techniques in here, guys. You don't have to use them all. There's a lot of different things for different people, right? We talk about traffic with YouTube, uh, with Twitter, with Facebook. We have a whole module here for Facebook marketing, guys. Uh, I have a whole section on bulk, bulk surplus and liquidations. Once you really get going, guys, there's so many opportunities to buy pallets of stuff, tractor trailer. I've bought tractor trailer loads of stuff for, for a couple thousand bucks. You wouldn't believe some of the deals I've gotten uh, on bulk surplus and liquidations. Importing and white labeling, guys. That's importing. I use Alibaba, and I go through all. I take, teach all my uh, ins and outs of how I learned to, do, to deal with people from Alibaba uh, for using Skype and how to work with the best people to import and buy, you know, manufacture products from China for you. Because you can get messed up with the people in China. Believe me, I've made, I've made some miserable mistakes. It's tough throughout the learning process, uh, but it's really 
really, really profitable, guys. I've had some niches that I've had some problem with manufacturers either going bankrupt or it was really crappy, crappy, and I ended up making my own products just to quit selling their crap and sell my own because I could, you know, you have my people, my warehouse ship the stuff out or I could ship, send to FBA, right, and let them ship it all out for me. But uh, it's really important to know how to do this stuff, the importing white labeling, if it's one the steps you want to go to, right? Okay, here, guys, here it is. E common domination, all this for one ninety seven guys. One hundred and ninety seven dollars I said it. That's absolutely just crazy, crazy cheap compared to what anybody else is selling products for. I've sold products a lot higher than this in the past. This is new, so I'm giving it, you know, a good deal to James's list here. And uh, let me get the link for everyone here for you guys. Oh look look, Rich on the Johnny on the spot. He done put it in there, didn't he? Thank you, Rich. Uh, but there's the link, guys. Uh, for 197, it's one time, one time investment, guys. I don't have any OTOs here. If any people ask for OTOs, there's no OTOs. There's nothing else I need to buy. I'm not going to sell you anything else. Saying this package is incomplete until you buy this. I don't do that. I never, never, never do that. So Rich put the link in there for you guys. Feel free to do that. But I'm going to go ahead and, and keep going on with the presentation. We'll do Q and A here in just a second. Here's an advantage you can have, and no one else has, guys. I told you about some software, right? I have two pieces of software in here. One's called AZ Prospector, and one is called E Prospector. Well, AZ Prospector is used for Amazon, and E Prospector is used for eBay. They're super easy software tools, guys, that reveals hot selling products within Amazon and eBay within seconds, and literally within seconds. It's amazing pieces of software. AZ Prospector alone is worth over $197, guys, just that one piece of software. Not counting, guys, in the members area, there's tons of bonuses. There's 39 bonuses, I think, in there. There's absolutely insane bonuses in there, templates. I mean, it goes on and on and on. All the free resources and stuff you got to build your own e-commerce sites. You don't have to pay for any. Let me, let me tell you guys something about you building your own websites. You don't have to spend any money on building your own websites. You don't have to spend any money on any crappy script. All you need is your domain name and your, your shared hosting, guys. So it's not that expensive to have your own websites. I really want to explain, you know, set that straight right now. And other people are saying, well, it's going to cost a lot of money. No, it doesn't. Because you can build e-commerce stores with WordPress and use free themes and free shopping cart uh, store platforms for free that you don't have to pay for at all, okay? And you, this software ignores slow-moving, low-ranking products that deliver only the best to you guys. So it ignores all the crap and all the clutter and crap out there. And, and all the low ranking products. It only delivers you the best products my software does. It shows you products with staying power. Long, steady sales, guys. It's, that's what the software does. So long, steady sales history. That's exactly what you want. This product's been selling good, right? It delivers products that have tons of reviews on are guaranteed to be the best sellers on Amazon and eBay. And that's one thing you're looking for, guys, is products that have a lot of reviews. And sure, you can go on Amazon and look the stuff up and go to the top 100, yada, yada, yada. There's no way that you can do what this software does. It take you literally days to do what this software does in seconds. I say it's like having a crystal ball, guys. Honestly, honestly, honestly. It's crazy, crazy, these two pieces of software, what they do, and just within seconds. You can narrow down by prices, days in the top 100. You can have days in the top, you can have 500 days in the top. You can narrow down to 1,000 days in the top 100. The reviews, and so on, guys, and it'll show you stuff within seconds. It's amazing. This AZ prospect is a snapshot of it, okay? Here's a snapshot of eProspector. Uh, I think AZ Prospector is a better piece of software. It does more. It does a better intelligent uh, research, but eProspector does very well as well uh, as, as finding niche. I like this one to use to find people to import stuff from China. I can find a niche products. I know I can find cheap on Alibaba and then put them on Amazon. But this is an amazing piece of software too, guys. eProspector finds how many has been sold within the last 30 days and so on. It's a really cool piece of software. Nobody else has them, guys. The only way you can get it, I've never released them products to any the software to anybody. It's always in my uh, package here. It's never going to be sold separately. It has to be included in the package. Uh, I cover all the e-commerce channels, guys. I talked to you a while ago uh, about Amazon. I cover all Amazon. It's a whole module on Amazon, guys. The whole modules, 12 or 15 videos just on Amazon. eBay as well. Facebook, guys. Your own store. I mean, I show you two different ways to build your websites, guys without costing you a penny other than just buying a domain name, which is under it's about eight or nine bucks a year now for a domain name. And then share hosting is cheap. It's like five or six bucks a month or something. It's cheap, cheap, cheap. 
Uh, and that's not per website, guys. That's per you know hosting. If you're doing a hosting, you can put a bunch of websites on there, right? And there's ways about getting around shopping carts and stuff too, like merchant accounts and stuff too, guys. And I will explain that in my product as well. We cover importing, white labeling, and bulk surpluses. I guarantee, guys, you've never seen an info product, a product in the members area that has this much stuff there in, in my product and resources. Even the interviews, we have expert interviews and stuff in there too, guys. We're always interviewing people. We have live training sessions, guys. I'm going uh, next week. I'm going to start my uh, my live training sessions for the next couple this last next couple of groups that we had come in, and we're getting ready to start live training sessions. So I'll probably do about three or four of them weekly, you know, for an hour to two hours. So you guys can come in there, we can share stuff and and uh, also really cool stuff with you, which is all in training, guys, but we like to help people in a group session, right? Uh, we want you guys to take the path that you're most comfortable with and that better suits your ability. So everybody, from a newbie to a seasoned person, this product is for you because there's different ways you can skip over certain parts or modules if you already know this stuff, right? And I explained that in the beginning. Uh, I'm with you guys every step of the way. What you guys will learn is how to pick the most profitable niche markets quickly, easily, uh, the secret sources I use to find wholesale suppliers with huge margins, guys. I want to sell products that's starting off at 50 to 75 dollars and on up, because I want to make higher profit margins per sale, right? How to sell huge volumes on Amazon? Very, very important, guys. Amazon's big, but you don't want to rely just on Amazon, like I said a while ago. But uh, you can make a lot of money on Amazon quickly. You see, one of my students made 42 grand in December alone. That's before Christmas time. Uh, other than below 10 grand. How to launch a profit with eBay store, guys. You want to still sell on eBay, too. And there's little tricky ways about eBay, too, that you can do, get free listings and so on and so forth. Uh, it's pretty cool without paying the 30 cent listing fees and so on. All right? Or those you have a store, you can have a store as well. Uh, the best drop shipping suppliers will make you money, guys. You want the best drop shipping suppliers. I'll give you tons of them in the training. Absolutely tons and tons and tons. The best way to do it is just Google and find yourself, guys. I'll show you a couple of cool techniques, easily, fast. Find your own manufacturer, but I give you a ton of hundreds, literally hundreds, probably thousands of them, different manufacturers, right? I give you the exact exact website template, guys, uh, that I use for all my website. It only takes 15 minutes to set up, and there's one video in there showing you exactly in less than 15 minutes how to set the store up with WordPress. Seriously, it's that, it's that simple. That's not counting putting the products up there, but that's just building, get the store installed, and getting it up there, and getting it it's runnable, right? How to get repeat sales with every every single one of your customers, guys. It's very, very important to try to get repeat customers. Your customers keep coming back and buy from you. That way you tell the friends and so forth. Uh, now all the family and friends, and they're always bragging about you, right? How to get your first sale within seven days, even if you've never made a dime online, guys. Never made a dime before. The special one-time investment. Well, like I said, one-time investment, guys. One nine seven is everything. Uh, you guys need. It's only available for a limited time. So when you sign up, you're protected by 30 day, no questions asked, money back guarantee, guys. I will not hold your money for any reason. If you're not satisfied, neither am I. I am. Just contact me and let me know. I don't return every penny of your money, guys. And if you said, Sam, you sound like a damn redneck hick. I don't like the way you sound. I want my money back. I'll give you money. I back. love the way you sound, Sam. You sound. I know it, Rich. You love the you way you sound. You know what? If, if your name is Fred and you have a neck, you could be a Fred neck. Oh, that's good. good. Yeah, that I, that, good. I, yeah, you just mentioned my name. I've got a couple of questions, Sam. Um, by the way, thanks, everybody, for sticking around. Got some great interest that's going on in this program. Uh, Stanley wants to know what a rate race is. A rate race? Yeah, did you say something about a rate race a little earlier? Mm -mm. No. It's probably my, my redneck. Oh, your redneck, huh? What if you live in a state that's redlined by Amazon? Is there issues there? No, that, that now you guys heard that before. People say, "Well, uh, Amazon's got got people blocked and stuff in certain states." That has nothing to do with e-commerce and selling on Amazon. That's for Amazon affiliates. If you're doing affiliate marketing, guys, this is not affiliate marketing. This is actually selling physical products and having your having manufacturers drop ship to your customers for you. So, it has nothing to do with affiliate marketing. That's what Amazon did to a lot of affiliates, like in North Carolina and. A bunch of other states. I think they lifted it on North Carolina. I think they worked that out. It took them a couple of years. Uh, that's one reason I couldn't sell do affiliate stuff from uh, from North Carolina. I actually used to do eBay affiliate stuff and Amazon affiliate stuff, guys. Back in the day, I had hundreds of websites doing little mini money sites, selling doing ClickBank stuff and little commission commission junction, all that kind of stuff, right? Bad business to be in. I got slapped by Google. Do a panda update. Bam, shit's gone. Half your websites, no traffic, no more money, right? So it wasn't a real that wasn't a real business. That's why I've always relied on my e-commerce business. I've had some ups and downs with different 
trying different things right throughout the years, but e-commerce stuff always, always has been there for me. Uh, you're protected, guys. Nothing to lose, everything you gain right now if you sign up, guys. And there's no TOs. I hear this a lot. That's what I'm saying. There's no TOs, guys, in this. Uh, it's 197. It's one-time investment. Uh, like I said, you had you guys are 100% guaranteed. Nothing to lose. Everything to gain when you sign up. Now you're not gonna find. Any, I guarantee you're not gonna find any training. It's got as much as this 197 guaranteed. And if you don't like it, tell me it sucks. Same, it sucks. Uh, really, you know, oh, you don't have to be that 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 nice about it. But, <laughs> but just say, Sam, I just don't. You know, it's not for me. You know, whatever, right? But guys, I really want action takers. If you don't think it's for you, don't buy it. But I really want people that's action takers going to do something with this. Uh, there's a lot of training there for you. What if you have, you maybe you have a child at home that's 16 or 17, don't have a job or something, or young, you know, young 20s need that's job cool. and share this with your child or something like that to help them out, because then they, you know, don't be giving it away to other people. I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying buy it for 197. For somebody in your family could use to build a business, a real business, and they'd be glad you did, guys, because this is a real business. I, uh, uh, E-commerce is a real business. Just, you know, you stick with it. I love it. I, I went just got back from Mexico, run my business from my iPad. Uh, for eight days, guys. Nothing, uh, there's nothing like it. And, and having money come in while I'm on vacation, you know, snorkeling here and there and zip lining and, and, and drinking my margaritas on the beach. And hey, they love the business, you know what I mean? Because once you build it up, guys, it's very little work. I do, like I said, I have 40, I have 41 or two websites now. Uh, I work maybe an hour a day, tops, hour and a half maybe a day on the websites. Uh, throughout all of them, just for the orders that come through and a couple of things I need to do. It's not that much, you know. I send an order to the manufacturer. I got an order for da 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 to be shipped to da 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 da. Simple as that. I get a tracking number in the afternoon and send to my customer. It's really simple, guys. Oh, hey Sam, uh, we, you know, I, yes, I just wanted yes, to jump in and, and let everybody know that uh, if you were having an issue with the the link already, you know, there there wasn't really an issue. I just went ahead and made sure and double check. There's a clickable link in the chat box. So if you look over and uh, over at the chat box, and I'm going to go ahead and put it in again. All you have to do is click on that, and that'll take you right to uh, whatever browser you're using, and you can take advantage of this wonderful program. If you're in the uh, question box area right now, I went ahead and did a cut and paste, and I've just sent it to everybody. So what you'll have to do is just take the cut and paste and go to your browser, put it in your browser, and it'll take you right to the page. Now, we're only going to take, um, I believe there was 20 spots available. Uh, I know you didn't mention that. Sam a little bit earlier, but I know the last time we did this, uh, which was a couple of months ago, we only had 20 spots available. I'm going to assume that's the amount of people that you could comfortably work with uh, at this particular time. We have 30. We have 30. 30. On oh, that. okay. 30. Yeah. Good. All right. Yeah, we're trying to keep, it, keep it, the yeah. group small enough for our next training session to start for, for everybody. There you go, folks. If you have uh, Firefox or Chrome, you can go ahead, the, uh, go ahead and uh, click on that link right there. It'll, it'll take you. You know, Sam... It's such a fantastic product, and, and the reason why it's such a good investment for for you out there is it's a $197 investment, but if you break it down over the next 10 months, because after all, it's 10 months away from Christmas. We're talking $19.70 a month is what it's going to cost you for you to work an hour or two or three or four hours a day. You get what you put into it no matter what. So if you want to put in more hours, great. If you don't, you can work the minimum amount you can receive a minimum amount of profit. But the bottom line is this. You get your own business for $19 a month for the next 10 months. And to take care of this now, it, it, it's a, it's a one-time uh, uh, investment of $197. That's what you have that, if you think about it, three, four, five sites that you do, and just, just kind of playing around with this, you can make this money back in no time. And especially at Christmas time. So I think you should consider this not only as an investment, but you should be considering this as something that can be for, like like Sam said, maybe you have a child at home that, that needs to get some work, or, or maybe you have a friend that's, that, if they did something like this, could get them some extra money. Uh, it's really an awesome package, and, and, I, and I believe that, and I do believe that, and I'm a member of Sam's site, that uh, you should take advantage of this. i got some more questions, Sam. Um, sure, sure. Yeah, let, let me. Uh, what if you stay? You, what if you have your stay-at-home mom or your wife's a stay-at-home mom, guys? Right? You make a little. She make a little money, extra money with the when the kids are at school, whatever, right? She makes she not working. She wants a little extra income. It's perfect for anybody like that, right? Uh, 
it's exactly perfect. I want to thank everybody for sticking around here. I've been here for like over an hour and 15 minutes now, so I want to thank everybody for listening to me for that long for sure. And uh, the guys, action takers, thanks. I see a lot of people already starting to grab it and put it in. Like I said, guys, too, we're starting our four-week, every three to four-week training session. Last time we did a four-week training session uh, for four separate, for, for like on Wednesday, we'll do a certain time during Wednesday afternoon. We'll do a different ones to get everybody settled in. We want people to have time to come in, and that way we'll be able to get, to get into the training sessions live with us, right? Um, we'll be starting that, too. So, guys, you can't figure out. Think about this. What if you had to go buy, what if you want to buy a Subway franchise, a franchise, a real business? What's it going to cost you? Half a million dollars? What I'm giving you guys here is a real business. It actually is a, a whole business in a box. And once you see the inside of it, the training area, guys, you will be wanting to tell your friends and everybody you know how awesome this product is. That's how I get my feedback from people, them telling other people and so forth, right, of what, how great this product is. And I just want you guys to have everything that you can in the product. I, I'm constantly adding stuff, too. I'm adding these three or four videos a week into the training session because I always want to keep adding stuff. It's not like you guys are going to buy this. And you're not going to. It's all you're going to have is the same stuff. It's going to always be added, guys. If I add the feature of the software, you get it for free. You never pay anything else for it. It's all yours. If I add another piece of software, which I do that from time to time, guys, as I'll have another piece of software made and throw it in the members area for you guys. So uh, I want you guys to have everything. I'm not going to try to sell you anything else next week or next month, saying it has. To, this is what you have to have to make this work, and I don't like to do that, guys. So uh, any kind of Q and A, you want to go over here, Rich? We're glad to go over here and uh, go over it with everybody. Okay. Let me get the question box out here. Rich might have been going through everything here. Okay. And I still give everybody, give everybody the gifts. I'm here, Sam. Ahead. I just want to do a... You want to go ahead and give everybody the, their gifts? You want to go ahead and put that sure. in the uh, chat box on the uh, the link? Sure. Let's do that. Let's give everybody the gifts coming yeah, out. Well. It's actually, it's a slide here, guys. The whole slide. You get the whole slide, and, I get, and you also get the nine videos I told you guys about, too. So uh, just for coming out. Somebody was asking, how much money do you need to start this business? I mean, other than the really? 197 investment. Well, you need to have a real business story, guys. If, you, if you're already doing business, like you don't have to have a real store business, you know, like at a business license in your local. It has to be uh, a doing business as, you know, like in a corporation or whatever. You, you can get that done for free online, or you can spend like 100 or 150 bucks. You get a, if you have a lawyer, it's cheap, too. But you, I have all the resources in there because, let's face it, Manufacturers want to work with real businesses. They don't want to work with any Joe Schmo that says, I'm, I'm, I'm Sam England. I live over here in Dunn, North Carolina. I like to sell you stuff on my website. And they want to know it's your real business, so I have a real business name. One of my businesses is a real business name. It costs me nothing really much to start it, but you want to start a real business. So if you don't have that, it's going to cost you 100 bucks, or, or you, can get, you can actually do it free yourself. There's re, all resources. I give you a bunch of resources how to do it yourself free. So. Uh, that can cost you nothing, right? Right. The really, the only thing you'll have in it is uh, your buying domain names. Or each domain name, so how many you buy? If you buy one at first, it's like nine bucks. It's eight ninety nine, I think it is. So it's nine something. I can fees, and then hosting. Uh, you can go to HostMonster, HostGator. Uh, you can get a shared account for like nine ninety five a month or something like that. So you can put all your bunch of domain names on that one account. Um, so you can get started really cheaply. So domain name only costs you one time once a year, you know, the nine dollars and something a year for each domain name. So if you had ten, it's gonna cost. But get started right off the bat. No, you can start on eBay, guys, for next to nothing. I mean, nothing really, actually. You can start on eBay not, with nothing, free listings. So uh, very you know, little. Depends on how you, wh wh which way you want to go about it. it. Really does. But you don't have to spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars. There's no way to get started. Very, very little out of money. Very little, fifty bucks or less, I would say. Let's just say, just give them that. So you know, how do you get into, you get into a business for less than three hundred bucks? And, and and your own business. And you can't buy a subway. You can't buy any real business oh, a, a business yeah. that you're still going to take a chance on. If you spend three hundred fifty thousand dollars on a franchise and stuff like that with all the equipment or more, then you still have no guarantee, right? There, you're absolutely correct. I mean, you know, even subways. There's no guarantees, even though subways are good. Guarantee. There's no guarantee. Uh, there's no guarantee uh, of anything really. Um, how do you? Yeah, I like people. I like people to take action. Uh, you know, if you take action, guys. You can make a lot of money with uh, e-commerce, selling physical products. You can make a crap ton of money. I showed you one example a while ago, one of my students it did start in October, middle of October with the training, and he did like $16,000 in November, but he did 42000 before Christmas uh, in December. Crazy, crazy stuff. He took action. Uh, he put his mind to it, said, I'm going to do this, and he did. You know, it's just, it depends on, you know, there's a lot of people that's not action takers that say they want to do stuff, but they want the stuff to fall in their lap. It doesn't happen that way, guys. Uh, you always have to put a little bit of work in anything you do online, period. 
There's nothing going to fall in your lap at all. Never, ever, ever. Uh, like I said, there's always just a little bit of work you got to put in. There is, and you know what? You get what you put into it. You know, and I'm a strong believer. If you're going to do a little bit of work, you might as well profit from it. I, I, I believe. Well, the cool thing about e-commerce, you know, doing e-commerce and selling physical products and doing drop shipping is you don't have to inventory stuff. You don't have to worry about all that. You know, paying the inventory and the overhead. Uh, having products that don't sell, you know, having a whole lot of products to inventory, right. having people you have to actually ship it for you is crazy, uh, is nuts. Glenn say I have five hours a day to put into it. You know, Glenn, to be honest with you, people you can get started with on an hour a day. What if you're working a regular job? So a lot of these people that's on the call are probably working regular jobs. I don't have a lot of time to put into it. Dedicate after everybody goes to bed. You, you eat dinner with your family and. You know, you put your wife, your wife goes to bed, or she stays up with you. But that time that you, you don't have to worry about, it's time to go to sleep. You don't have to worry about, you know, the family and stuff and eating dinner and the kids playing with the kids. But you can dedicate an hour, maybe two a night. If you're asleep, you'll get used to it to build your business, right? And next thing you know, it'll be a couple weeks, a couple months, and you've got something built up just going crazy for you. Because once you build your stores and list your products on your stores or list your products on Amazon or list your products on eBay, so there are guys are selling, selling, selling for you. It's not like where you're beating them and beating them. You have to beat the same thing all, all over again, right? Like you're doing a little mini site. You're always changing stuff. You're always adding content. Da, 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 da. No, not with e-commerce guys. It's, a lot. it's, it's not like that. Hey, Sam. Yes, sir. Because uh, these people are having their problems with, the, with their finger or something. Uh, www.ecomdomination.com uh, forward slash get forward slash James. Um, congratulations goes out to it. I just saw his name here just a second ago, and he's really happy that the Daniel Rose. Thank you, Daniel, very much. Daniel just bought it. He says, I'm in. Uh, Sharon is saying, how long is this offer open? Well, we're going to have the replay, Sharon, so uh, uh, it's, it, it's going to be open for probably about 24 hours. Uh, Tony wants to know, do you do Amazon FBA? Yep, I do a small bit of Amazon FBA. Uh, I really do that more towards the holiday, guys, when I'm doing a lot of sales. Uh, I've got a particular product that I buy ahead of time from a manufacturer, and what he does, he, 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 I buy him because I know I'm going to sell, sell out every year, right? And what he does, I buy him ahead of time, and he, he inventories them in his warehouse doesn't charge me anything. And then right before the holidays, I have to ship everything to FBA. And a lot of companies, they'll let you buy stuff, guys, and then you, you can, if you buy them in advance, if you're going to do FBA, because FBA is actually products you're sending to Amazon for them to uh, ship out for you. So let me give you guys an example. You remember Amazing Selling Machine sold for three over three thousand bucks. What these guys were teaching people is how to go to China, find your more. You don't have to go to China. You can go to Alibaba or whatever. But to, to find the products and then have them shipped directly to Amazon FBA. Now, what if there's a problem with that product? What if it's an MP3 player, it's an electronic product or something, and there's a bad flaw in the product or something? You ship thousands of these things to Amazon FBA and they were garbage. That wasn't good, was it? I, I highly don't. I don't never recommend ship anything from China straight from an import company to Amazon FBA without inspecting or something first, or have a, play, a person that inspects it over for you. Uh, that's a bad thing to do. But yes, I do. We do teach Amazon FBA in the course. But that's one thing you need to learn later on, guys. After, after you've got your hands and you get your feet wet with this kind of stuff, right? Uh, Glenn says I put five. I can put five hours a day. That's great, Glenn. You could build this quick on the quick, quick. Uh, with five hours a day. Easy speezy. See, look here, Glenn says, I've been trying to find a job for, for four months after a layoff and can't, so that's perfect. And that's what, I got a, I got one of my sons, oh, I got one son, I got two daughters and one son. My son's 21, and he can't find a job. And I keep telling him, go online, son, but he just won't listen. And he used to sit, when he was a teenager, he used to sit and watch me count my money, not count my money, but watch the money come in from sales and stuff. He's like, I can't believe it. Look how much you're selling the life. But he still doesn't get it. He doesn't have that drive, right? He does not have that drive. And Glenn, you look like you have that drive. Because if you ain't, you need money to pay your bills, right? You want more money. A hell with just paying your bills. You want money for vacations. You want to be able to be financially free. And I'm, I actually paid my house off this year. I, I can go buy a car, guys. I, I'm not bragging or anything like that. But if I want to go buy a car and pay cash for it, I go buy a car and pay cash for it. And I've set myself up the last you know few years, building this up to where it just it's it's easy money, guys. It's really not that hard of work. Uh, I love the business, and it's like I said, it's a lot more reliable than a lot of other things online that you guys probably seen and stuff, right? Maybe some of you guys are doing offline stuff. I hate offline stuff. I did that for years. And I'm a computer store because I, I built websites for clients. Uh, we didn't call it 
the offline business or anything like that. We didn't call it SEO service or anything like that. Uh, but I just didn't like doing that, and I didn't like doing that face to face with customers. I, I got tired of having my own physical store and stuff. And that's one reason I went online. I love this business. You know, Sam, uh, I, I was thinking if you took this program and maybe had a little table and set up a table at the unemployment place, you know, where everybody comes in to sign through their checks. I, may, I know you do them online now, but I'm sure there's long lines that's what we're at the at the uh, at the unemployment places where they, where they actually help you get a job. If you would take, I bet you could take one or two or three people and then turn them into successful uh, entrepreneurs owning their own business and getting them off the unemployment lines. I mean, this program is perfect. I, I like what Glenn said. I've been trying to find a job for four months. I live on my mom's couch and I'm 40. <laughs> you sound like one of my friends, Glenn. Come on over here. What he says, what he says, it's perfect, isn't it? It's, I, I love what he says next. I have drive. Perfect. That's drive. Perfect, yeah, right? you know what? He doesn't have to drive because he's living on his mom's couch, and that's all. Awesome. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you what. Your mom might be happy if you just actually work the computer for three, four hours a day, start getting some money, uh, and then maybe you might move out or buy buy your mom a house. Yeah, too. buy your mom a house. Move them out. Um, but anyway, we're, we're teasing with you, Glenn. Anyway, thank you very much. Uh, you yeah. take advantage of it. Uh, we only have about, uh, uh, we're only going to do about three or four more minutes, maybe five more minutes max. Uh, so if you have any more questions, go ahead and type them in now. We'll uh, get them as quick as we can. Uh, but if you're going to take action, and I want to see if, um, uh, if you are going to take action, let me, ask, let me ask you this before we go. How, how, many, how many are still paying attention in here? Go ahead and type in one. Let me, let, me, let me see who's still paying attention and, and if you're on the, on the fence or not. Anybody? By the way, Sam, Gary's asking, is SEO the only way you guys get traffic? That, Rich, I mean, he's asking, for, he's asking you, Rich. Why don't you answer the question? Uh, is SEO the only way you, <laughs> yes, Gary, you SEO is the only way I do. I use traffic. SEO is the only thing I, for my websites. Uh, SEO, that's the only way I get traffic. I don't buy traffic. Anything on my websites never have, never will. I, 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 to answer that question with another one that uh, Mr. Top Tan, Tan asked, how many pages websites do you build, have to build? You, you need to be, have, you don't have to have massive websites, guys. Never, ever. I've made that mistake of building massive websites with a lot of products, and it's too hard hey. to manage. You want product page, you want websites that has 30 to 100 products. That's it. And you need to build another website uh, and another niche or another website with the same types of products, the same exact product with different, just, just different little different twists on IT step in the course. It's very, very important, guys, to dominate. I, in certain keywords, guys, and I'll tell you something, certain keywords on certain, if you go to Google, uh, you can type it in, and I'll have eight spots out of ten out of Google out of about four or five websites because I go after certain yeah. things, you know, niches, right? Cool. Well, we have a, 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 couple of, a couple of people are still very interested in that, and I know they're a little bit on the fence. Um, I, I'm just curious, okay? I know we have uh, we still have about 50, 60 people left on, on the call. We're going to wrap it up here in just a minute. Uh, do you worry about IP addresses, Sam? Okay. Now, if it's a shared server, I have a number of servers, guys. I have a bunch of different, what, five different, six different ones. Yes, I do in particular niches. Okay, if I sell garden statues and I have three garden statue sites, would I have them on the same IP address? No. If I, if I found that the garden statues are selling me really good, I'm just giving you an example, uh, and I have bought three domain names, I always like to buy one, two to three domain names on every type, like I said a while ago, MP3 doorbells, fight song doorbells, and I bought a couple more. I buy them, and I find out if it's going to be good for me to do, and I start making money on one of them, I'll go ahead and throw them on different IP addresses, which I means I'll put them on a different server, right? For, for garden statues, so I had three garden statue sites, for example, I wouldn't put them on the same server with the same IP address. But if I had dog collar sites, I would put them on that same server with one of the garden statue sites. You see my, what I'm saying? I, I, I'll stack them. Some of my servers have... Uh, five, six domain names, because they're all different ones, right? I have a lot of different dom dom domain names, too, other than just e-commerce, guys. I have all a lot of different ones for all different services. So I spread them out. But uh, I, I don't worry about that unless it's the same. If it's the same, if it's the same product, like garden statues or dog cars and a bunch of different domains, I don't put them on the same IP address. And now you can buy uh, VPNs, guys. It's cheaper, like 30 some bucks a month. Uh, VPNs, virtual private server. And you can put all different, you can get all kinds of IP addresses, like a buck a piece. Uh, each IP address, you can stack them around different ways, right? Easy stuff. To get started, you don't need you don't need to worry about that, Harry. There you go. All right, we're going to go ahead and wrap this up now, Sam. Uh, we got about another two minutes left. 
Okay. If uh, somebody was on the fence, and there's a, like I said, there's about 50 some people left. If somebody was on the fence, and they said, you know what, it's $197 investment, I get it. Uh, it's affordable, I get it. I have a credit card that can hold this $197. I get that too. Um, Sam's giving us a 30-day guarantee whether you, you, you like it or not. For whatever reason, tell Sam you don't want this product and he'll refund your money. If you put it on a credit card, it won't hit for another 30 days. So it's basically a, a buy it, try it, and if you like it, that's awesome. It'll stay on your credit card. And if it's not, well, then you'll get refunded. So it's a win-win-win-win-win situation. The nice thing about this is that everybody's buying on the Internet. This is not something that we're making up. You know e-commerce on the net is billions and billions of dollars, and there's enough part of the pie for everybody, and that and that's what's awesome. Sam, can you, can you add anything to convince somebody uh, in this last 60 seconds to take advantage of this now? Well, you know, obviously, you guys have been on here this long and listened to me for an hour and a half, and you're interested in this, right? Or you wouldn't hear to listen to me that long. You listen to me longer than my wife who usually listens to me. But, uh, guys, this is a real business, a huge potential for you guys to make a whole lot of money. And if you just have to put a little bit of time, a little bit of time and a little bit of effort into it, and you can build this, where can you find a, a business and a business in a box? And I guarantee you've never seen anything like this, the training that I have in there, the step-by-step hand-holding that's in there for you guys and all the resources. you never find this for 197 again. I will be raising the price on this pretty soon uh, to a lot more because, like I said, my competitors are selling this stuff for two to $3,000, and they don't have near the information that I have in the training that I have in here and the support. We have a live support. We have a guy, a guy who manages my support. Uh, he checks it twice a day, so he's always on top of my support desk. And like I said, one-time investment, guys, 197 You can't beat that. I'm like, well, there's no TO. There's nothing else to sell you. I'm not going to sell you anything later saying it's incomplete without da, da, da. Uh, all the traffic generation strategies, finding niches, finding manufacturers, selling on three different platforms, Amazon, eBay, and most importantly, you're on your own websites because that's where you'll make your most profit, guys. And uh, just want to see you guys on the inside. Our live training stuff, start, our live training group session starts next week. That alone, just one video, just one video in the last sessions, guys, and they're in there in the last thir module 13, the last four sessions, there's one video alone in there worth 197. Seriously, the information that we shared there is just phenomenal. So uh, I want to see you guys on the inside. Wow. So I hope to see you guys on the inside. Start next week with Storage Live Trading Session. And I hope to see you guys just selling physical products online and not jumping from one thing to the next and start concentrating on a long-term business. Thanks, Sam, very much. That was absolutely an awesome presentation. www.ecomdomination.com forward slash get forward slash James. I went ahead and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this in the – chat box one more time for those of you who just want to do a quick click and get there and I am also put that in the question box so you can go ahead and highlight cut and paste it and you can do that now or you can do that a little bit later uh, and, yeah, and this, you guys can grab the slide too the slide everything's in the slide there even the link if you guys need it so uh, you guys grab your link for the bonus and stuff and uh, just for coming out and the slide you know this whole slide with all the information in there and I hope to see you guys on the inside, and I hope you guys have a great afternoon, a great weekend. Thanks, Sam, very much. And I want to thank everybody who came out today, especially the folks who participated from James Knight. And thank you, James, very much for – excuse me for one second. Uh, thank you very much, James, for uh, um, inviting your list to this special presentation. Thanks, everybody, for coming by. On behalf of uh, JV2 Webinars, Webinar Swaps, Night Marketing, and Rich Willems webinars and everybody else. Thank you so very much. Love to stay and hang around, but uh, got to go. Uh, and I'm sure you do too. We'll see you on another edition of what I just told you we are. Thanks, everybody. You have yourself a great evening. Good night. Good night.